Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and you know what we saw yesterday, and I talked about this a little bit on the evening uh, evening recap that I did on the website, is we saw a push up into that 67 area. Okay. The trading before, you know, we, we, we did a little dip. We tested 60, 67 uh, up in the early AM. And then it was time for the Yellen press conference. And the Yellen press conference pushed it as high just before the announcement of 66, uh, 66.75. And then we went ahead and, and we dropped. And whether we dropped on reality or whether we dropped on, you know, her being misquoted, the fact of the matter is, is that there's concerns there. And that we've dropped. What really concerns me is the areas that are revealing themselves as resistance on the drop today. So you've got 67 that's pretty much solidified as resistance. We've had this line up for a few days. This is where the proprietary level failed back on Thursday, down to 23, back up to test it, back up to test, back up to test. 67 is the real deal with respect to resistance. Now, what else is key? A couple areas. You've got the middle Bollinger Band on the continuation contract. And I talk about the continuation contract all the time. And people that, you know, pe people like to talk about, oh, the front month, June, this and that. No, sorry. If you if 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 you look back, you will see that the continuation contract prices have been just as much, if not more, meaningful than the front month contract prices. And I don't I don't care what the theory is behind it all. I'm a trader, and if something works for me practically, that's exactly what I'm going to use. Um, what we are seeing now is resistance at the middle band on the continuation contract. So here we are, uh, middle band today at 56.71. So we do the big flush, and we had some really big ticks on that flush, and as a day trade, I mean, you've really got to fade that back, and I talked about that in the evening uh, recap yesterday. But where did it stall? That's what I start to, you know, I start to, I don't worry about where we're bouncing, where we're going to. After a big drop like that, I'm looking at where does it stall? Okay, if it stalls in the middle of something that doesn't really matter, it doesn't really get my antenna up. But when it stalls at areas that are important, then you have to say to yourself, well, maybe there's something to this. Here's your stall area, 56.75. Middle band, continuation chart. That stopped the rally yesterday at about 3.45. So what happens in the overnight? Here's your daily pivot. Resistance. Resistance, okay. Um, I fully now, you know, I, I I expect a pretty close test of this 42 area. We just keep making lower lows here, um, and the 42 area looks like it needs a test, and that's a test that the bulls desperately need to pass. Um, the the bulls gave up a lot of ground yesterday, and they need to get back through daily pivot. They need to get back over the middle band, and then they have to take on their real nemesis up here at 1867. What if we head lower? Okay, here we are back on the daily. If we head lower, if we break the 42 and convert that 42 area into resistance, then that starts to open up a test of the lows from last week down at 1823.25. In between that area, you have the 1828 area that's key. 1828, you have a, a cluster of uh, some FIB levels, and it's also S2 today. Uh, the 50-day exponential moving average comes in about 1832. That's also important. Uh, I would also mention that down there at this touch, down at the 1823s, that's also the 45-day pivot. So, you know, we, we never really extended off of it, and it keeps going back to it when we have these tests. So you got to keep an eye on it. Okay, that's all I've got for today. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. And I will be back tonight with a recap and tomorrow morning with another pre-market webcast. Trade them well, everybody.